kicking themselves, right? They should or have wanted to at least make a competitive game in towards yesterday's upper bracket final against Virtus Pro. They couldn't. So will that affect them heading in towards this? We'll have to wait and see. But Vertigo is where we head map number one here in the series. One spot on the line, two teams to fight for it. Well, we shall see, sir. We shall see. This is indeed. But you see, I just had to look it up, right? The line does end. The jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. one. So we'll true. see, mate. We'll see. That is the full line. Yeah, you people know? don't know the full so, quote. They always they yeah, always exactly. they always misconstrued that sentence. They think uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. means jack of all trades uh, is a bad is like a bad thing because you're a master of none. No, it's a good thing. Yeah. You're normally depends, better than a master mate. of one. We'll see what happens for Mr. Metasport and the gang here, but surely they've got to have a plan with letting it through, right? You've got Dallas spot on the line. Why would yeah. you take the risk here if you didn't feel comfortable on it? Nilo going to be the first to fall in the series. And my goodness, he is joined very quickly by the twins. Bikinio and ZTR, what can they do? Heroic have laid down the law. What an opening pistol. Yeah, talk about making a statement out the gate here, right? Coming in towards this B site, finding a very, very easy walkover. I can get all the kills for it as well. Nothing, nothing gained for Metasport. That is the start that Heroic wanted. And I said this in the pre-show. I said, if Heroic play the way that they can, the way that they want, they can come into these sort of matchups and just walk all over teams. Metasport, they've got a really tough job here to try and take down this caliber of a team for an IM Dallas spot. Well, oh, well, not the greatest start. Of course, no real buy to work with here. The expectation, heroic. What a start for them. Other gates flying. Boost up for the CT side, but a pretty slow start for heroic. Um, definitely changing things up from the previous round, but I think just. Wanting to condition in, it's something that is very, very different at the top level. Getting inside your head, you get a bit nervous, playing reactively rather than proactively. So Metasport need to keep their style, their game alive and not just play to the tune of Heroic throughout the series. The boost, though, might just find success here. Indeed it does. So any damage is going to be good. ZTR as well. Works one round corner. Looking good for Shush. Holds the line there for the 4K. And it's a fair 4K under pressure as well. He does very, very well to make sure the spray is clean. Heroic will bail themselves out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him his credit. That was pretty solid. Especially yeah. under a little bit of pressure there. Not bad. A little, little transfer, but one all the same. They're not exactly easy in CS2. But uh, yeah, 2 0 start for Heroic. Nice work. Of course, that was a round that was not really even expected to be remotely close. It wasn't really. That's support into their first full bite. That's what I'd say. It was like a must convert for them. If they don't, it would be very quickly in a lot of trouble here. Full rifles across the board for both sides. Early ground smoke as well, which I don't think he wants to play around. something cheeky over there they're also pressuring b here on the heroic end i've got to be careful Ooh, the jump spot even is risky flat comes back around to allow them a peek in and it is able to find success in the end three players go in for that so they were quite confident in it and that's exactly what we want to see from metasport not shying away from these scraps Adam also sticking around here on the jump spot. I'm going to see even more. So it starts to confirm the fact that they're looking for an A lean in the end. So, E4. Could be even a little bit more drastic as well. Kicks out's going to fall. A lot of over towards headshot. Smoke going to come down with a double stack in through short. Adam B got the right idea. Going to play together here. As they're wrapping, he finds one. Looks for a second as well. It's just Nurt. That's all that's left as he's creeping around the smoke, going for a flank of his own. He might just get the timing here. ZTR's holding for it, though. I don't think he's going to be given the luxury. Seen off, and that is a beautiful round for Metasport. First full gun round and only losing one casualty. You take that every day of the week. Yeah, a big answer of their own. You know, a dominant pistol coming in from Heroic, but 
lovely round there from Metasport. Just stop them in their tracks. Make sure they're not able to pick up momentum. Heroic. Ooh, coming back in with a buy. There's uh, not much that they can really do here. Just trying to even up that econ. But it is, it is certainly a surprising one. You know, you've got a fair amount of players on 2,000 plus. It's only really Nikodos that was a little poorer. So it is an aggressive economic decision here. Still early on in the game. I respect it. I like it. Again, trying to stay in the heads of Metasport. Who may well take their eyes off the ball in a round like this. Flash. Flash should connect there for ZTI. I wanted to just get it through that gap so he could swing ramp. Heroic. And just biding the time behind that smoke. No, it's AK. Has got to find something. And that's not a bad start. I don't know if he spots one more, but he isn't exactly panicked as he falls away. Nine time for the rotation. We'll get back on towards side. Jaquinio comes over as well. Smoke will come down. That'll give him some room to work with. It's going to be a tough fight. Oh, this could be a mess. Yeah, decent aid there as well to kick things off. Jaquinio! Oh, my goodness. I think he went overlooked for a second, but he just was not on it at all. Bomb to go down. Boost up here is finding a little bit of success, but still tentative. Four versus three we've ended up in. Neither on three HP and a pull away. We'll see. Maybe they're back on after that kill, you know. Yeah, they're feeling it. They are feeling it. Nilo remains low, but Adam B, susp. Yeah, they're going in, moving together. The dynamic duo, of course, looking to try and find the frags. Is there a smoke for the bomb? Just about. It's going to be rough. Spray down is super clean to find the deep Adam going to look to try and attempt it again, but just can't find the bomb in time. And they will indeed secure the round. Heroic with the force by win. And as said, Metasport dropping the ball, taking their eyes off it. Kicks are just surviving as well on 2 HP. He just stuck around as well to see if he get one more exit. And he's nearly costing his life, but wouldn't really have mattered. Heroic, really nice response. Really, really well done. So... Very important kind of crossroads as well. You know, it's all well and good finding that sort of first round, right? If you are Metasport, but if you can't make it consistent, if you can't chain them together, that is where things do get a little rough, a little dicey. You have to be careful. At the very least, 3 to 1. Roka could have called for their first time out. Probably just as well for them, a little bit of kind of an insurance policy in a way. Just make sure that they don't overface or anything of the sort. Yeah, realistically, they should be absolutely fine. So, pause concluded. Metasport looks their response as well. Has to be pretty emphatic. Things did not look all that good in towards that one. Smoked out of the sight, and especially considering what the buy of Heroic was as well. Doesn't help. It was just a hero AK and it worked. Okay. It would have been a good idea, you know. It's the Molotovs that go in. Tessus is pretty aggressive around the smoke. Utility coming out from himself. To try and find that first frag, but quite safe. Just getting the presence down, scaring Meta's port off. Noise being made by Shushi. I probably wasn't the plan, but I'm going to stick with the idea regardless. Just up towards Wood. I just leave kicks on here. She gets a lot of room. Not a huge amount offering up for him. Same way, this is pretty good. Up on towards B. One in towards Heaven, but Sus is going to find the kill. Under pressure now, though. He's being fought from all angles. Mid and side. She's going to fall back. Under the collar for Nerds here. One trade not quite going to be enough. Tess clean. Oh, and the bomb's been planted, as you can hear. So it takes away one of the avenues of attack for Metasport on this retake. At the same time, Tess is pretty far away from the action. So two on the site itself. Tess is going to have to find some really good timing, or his teammates are going to have to stand strong. I mean, the latter works. Shush. Has pretty much sealed the deal. Needs to in and around the smoke here. An easy find for him in the end. Heroic moving up to four. And Metasport hitting a wall early on. Yeah, this is what Heroic can do. They have moments where their T sides look absolutely excellent. And, and this is, you know, a prime example of it. 
so far so good and it's all left the back of kicksand as well right great spacing through stairs he's given a lot of room to work with and can't really do anything off the back of it second a molotov comes back pillar that's the kind of the the go call saying it's not on a presence here we could easily manipulate this in our favor and they do low by metasport heroic really strong position they, they find a uh, simple fifth there and they're gonna be they're gonna be cooking test is up close adam b's five seven not connecting Quiet move here. Could get dangerous. You know, good numbers. So surprised to cap them off with nades in hand, but uh, bitten off a bit more than he could chew there with four right round the corner. Like I said, though, rotations are in pretty quickly. It's a nice little flash over the top. Not quite too much success. Damage coming in. Eagle does eventually get some work done, but this is down to the SDR and Nilo. They know where these players are at. And should be able to clean up house. They do indeed. Heroic hitting their groove early. This is what we expected to see from them. This is what we know they are capable of. And Metasport have no answer. Yeah, they're really, really in a bit of a rut here. Metasport needs to be careful. Before they know it, this map could be in jeopardy. And then, of course, we've already touched on more than enough about the risk of Anubis. We said this map feels must win for Metasport. We've got to turn around here and now. Rogue were able to make it a sick. Already at this sort of point in the game. Not a good position to be in. of Tessas. He's keeping hold of it. He hasn't gone for the upgrade, but so far, he's flashing the corner. Nikodos forced back. At the very least, Metasport contesting for Ram. They can't give up that controller because that's going to leave them super vulnerable. Nilo flashing rounds. Try and give some information. At the bottom end of stairs, so definitely like this position for Metis Port. Tessus on the Mac 10. It was an interesting decision to have this into the round, and now with only four, I think it makes life a lot harder for them, you know. He's going to close the gap, however, and gets away with absolute murder. For the Mac 10, he's good for, and maybe another Jacinio as well to stay alive, and he'll continue to stay alive. Meanwhile, over on B, over on mid, magic happening. Nika does. Not long for this world. There you go, Metasport. That's certainly one way back onto the board. Pretty clean round for them. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I needed it as well. I mean, we said it came off the back of contesting ramp. Taking really good control. Three players fighting through it. Now, of course, we've seen a couple of times already for Metasport when they've done that, when they put three out through ramp early. They've looked a little vulnerable elsewhere, through mid, especially through B stairs. And that's where Heroic just changed things up and that's it around. It flips, but... Metasport read it well. It's a good call from a ZTR. Understand what they need to do. Speaking of ZTR, close here is Molotov. One of his own. Might want to fight behind it too. SS. Gap in that smoke could be worked well for him, but no, just turns away at the wrong time. And Adam B will catch him. Decent, decent start here for Metasport. So heroic once again are down. To try and make this work for them. Good nade damage onto Nilo, but it is not an answer. It's not a frag. Shusha's position given away by the Molotov. Will he stick around? The answer is yes. We've got a lot of prodding and poking here from Heroic. A lot of solo moves. Nikodos does have a bit more support behind this play, at least with the team playing patiently, but it looks like they want to hit B. Maybe use Nikodos as a distraction. Close it. Waiting a white box of smoke into his front stairs and lurk behind it. Nikodos chunks a nade. And of course reveals his position, but he's actually drawing attention to his way. Smoke gonna come down and they pop out. Toss gonna fall. Shush and kicks anchor by for one apiece. One more into his head, but does Kino even want to fight? Yes, he does. As he finds kicks and he versus three. This is on. Just about. Trying to keep the dream alive here on the heroic side of things. Shush, that aggressive move forwards. Meanwhile, Nikodos was flanking around but they were ready for him ah predictable position found down by nurse 
got it close to the action. Looks to finish the round all by himself. Heroic back up to six. And Metisport, they're getting a couple rounds, but it is that all elusive consistency we talk about yeah. so much. Four's coming round. They're just not able to chain rounds together. This is where things are letting them down. Oh, man. This is, uh, yeah, it's not a good position to be in. I think Metsport, they probably more than most realize kind of how worrying a spot they're in. I think now these are a little concerning. It looks like with this pause might be coming back to us ever so briefly. But uh, yeah, I mean, so far, not so good. Heroic, you know, we've got to take this kind of as a blanket statement that Heroic should come in towards this game and should control it, right? They, they should come in, have very few issues, and, and take this on a series because that's the expectation. This is a tier one team versus a, you know, no disrespect to Metasport. They are still regarded as a tier two team until they get that LAN experience, until they're, you know, a bit more of a household name. They are, a, you know, a tier two team, right? So I think until uh, we see them more regularly, we can't really count them as anything but that. But at the same time, the reason why we get kind of hopeful for Metasport is the recent results. You know, maps that are being taken off teams like Spirit beating Falcons. Thing, you know, I mean, even Apex is easy, no joke either. Adam B going to open up. NCR catches kicks and getting a bit cheeky. So Messi's port back on the board. You know, definitely not bowing out here, but it is going to be a tough ride for them. Six rounds from Heroic already on the T side of their opponent's map pick. You know, these are all things that are positives. Here's some footsteps. Can't win the fight out, unfortunately. Maybe enough damage done here. We'll see. Shush playing incredibly well, by the way. 14 kills for him. Absolutely Shit. on it. Brings his 4v2 back into a 2 versus 2. And maybe potential for the round. Nerds has got another smoke here if they want to use that. Chiquinho. V9. Best for this sort of position. Bit of chip damage, though. The bomb will go down, though. Can't deny that. 2v2 set up, and... Yeah, now this isn't too nice of a spot to find themselves in. They're going to double swing. Corner! And just move into a sandbag. Shush gets caught, but not dropped. Oh, that's so awkward. That is so, so awkward. Not a lot of time left here. No kit available. Nerts in with the flash to allow maybe a bit of a peek or a bit of a slowdown. He's got to find this kill. He will lose it out. Tap onto the bomb. Oh, man, but just going to have to get on the bomb and hold it, bro. Like, and even then, he's not able to get to the bomb fast enough. So, Shush has won the round out. Bikinio just trying to find the kill. Will do so. Grabs an AK. Should be able to save in the corner. But Heroic have pulled that one back. Four on two. Oh, and he doesn't even get to live. See you later. Catch you next round. That is heartbreaking for Metisport. Yeah, that's not good. And, you know, it looks so winnable. The opening cut a couple of kills going their way. Even that one... Phasing through the smoke that ZTR finds. I mean, those sort of little increments are really, really important for Metasport. It looks like they put themselves in a decent spot to at least start chaining something together. But no, again, just sort of falls apart. And that two versus two, even though Shush has took that attack down so low, just staying alive. That all that matters. Oh, Corner. We'll catch ZTR. A little bit of attack, and most importantly, that's information that he's up close. Quiet kind of round here from Heroic, though they know this one is a key key turning point. Eight rounds this early into their T half would be absolutely fantastic. Only 15 minutes into the game now, and it is going by quickly. Heroic making mincemeat out of Metasport right now. But unsure of what to expect by Wise in particular. So giving full respect to Cross and looking to work their way in. That one Molotov will slow them down pretty heavily. Nilo sticks around. He's actually getting aggressive. Oh, totally unexpected. But Tessis comes in behind. He's opened up A and they might just rotate around for that. I mean, the fact that Nilo even gets second there is pretty damn substantial. Yeah, like you said. Just all the way so deep. Adam Lurkin sees it pulled up. I can't make it a second. Close. Bomb dropped. 
A lot of this comes down to Tessus now. Bomb will be planted for Tessus. It's a timing play on Jaquino crossing it. Only a Deagle for him to work with. Gets caught by Nikodos and leaves Sus alone in a 1v2. It's not an easy one to convert, but he's going to give it a go. Sus making a lot of noise. They know where he's at. They know that he's on this bomb with that tap. But from both sides, I think it's going to be really weird for him to deal with. Ooh, Ooh. Tessus runs out of ammo. Goodness gracious, there's no time though for the defuse again. It's so tough. They're coming close to these wins, but Metasport just cannot get them over the line. Yeah, and this is so far being the story of this first half. You know, somebody who looked at this on kind of hate your TV or on paper, they'll see eight to two and say, okay, there's a you know no show, it's a no competition. But it's, it's actually it's actually not the case. Metasport have made these rounds close. Their individuals, some of them are stepping up. Basically across the board, everybody's having their moments now. However. They are just not getting over that final hurdle, which is a round in their favor. This is heroic. So far, so good spiraling. Potentially a round. Oh, Sus. Gonna get caught. Get gonna be find one. Nilo could be in trouble in the flames. He looks for a fight, but he's not giving it. Might side Gen Smoke will come through. Kicks on that Molotov. He's just gonna force him to panic ever so slightly. He doesn't have a huge amount of support around the corner. Does he recognize that there could sure. be a player in deep? Yeah, he does indeed. Well read by Nilo again, continues to impress us as a young player. If I am NIP, I'm looking at this kid right now. You know what I mean? Like, sure, man. Why not? They just why signed one new not? contracts too. Just, yeah. just, I love it. I love it. Great business. <laughs> Great business. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave them alone for now. Um, the NIP roasting session i'm sure will uh, have its day all the same he does charging forward here trying to find the entry is not going to happen for him Genio dealt with adam b wild little off angle just you know grabbing here behind the site that is mental but it works beautifully for him round is a round you take them all the same net is important than anything get a fourth in maybe you know there's something to work with they can start to push themselves to at least a, you know, a fairly considerable position where we can sit here and say, okay, eight to four. It's not the end of the world, but it, you know, it's manageable. And maybe we have a little bit of confidence, but yeah, I mean, it still remains that this has been a pretty one-sided affair. Let's see. Off the back of a heroic pause, what is there to work with? Yes, there's buys to a degree, but not exactly too fruitful over towards Heroic. One match 10. Quarter tech nines. And this could be Metasport finding that fourth. I do wonder, though, what the play is for Heroic. With this sort of buy, do you just try and take fights as soon as? You know, popping towards B, they've, they've had good success there. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. It, it may well be something that they go for yet again. Um, just clean executes, really. Metasport looking to abuse the heroic vertigo. It's not really worked. Oh, the knee. Shut down. However, Adam B trying to keep the round alive. And he might just have done so. Two versus three. Still not ideal, but still doable. Another frag found. It is this flag that's coming in. Somewhat ready for it is sus. Must have heard a footstep or a little spidey sense. Where's this last guy? Big, big kill. And a two versus one now in favor of the CT side. They're going to lose the B-bomb site, but Kixon's only got a tech nine. Not an easy position. I mean, granted, a bomb plant, and a post plant, that's when maybe Kixon can cook it in that one versus two. Two rifles take down. That's two of the highest performing players on this team in recent form, and they're sticking together. That's the right way to play here. Tech nine spotted and dropped. Nilo is never missing that any day of the week. That's going to be a fourth on the board for Metasport. They need a little bit of luxury at the tail end of the half, and they will get it. But all things considered, eight rounds for Heroic. It's not bad at all. Let's see if they can continue that. After the break.
Heroic bringing the noise in that first half. Eight rounds out of their T side on a map that we figured may well be the punish, may well be the catch. Yeah. It is not the best for them, traditionally speaking, but potentially they have done some work. Or maybe Metasport have indeed met their match here. And you know, we spoke about this in the kind of pre-show and we were saying, you know, we're talking about Vertigo and a map in which, you know, this is great for Metasport. However, sometimes Heroic just have these sort of performances. Sometimes they're coming towards games, they take no prisoners. And this is what it feels like now. Heroic found a pistol, especially if it's even remotely as dominant as the pistol was to start off the map. I think Metasport could be in a hell of a lot of trouble. A bomb plant is... A real necessity at the very least for Metaspore here. And around and around it would be great too. They're going to pop towards A. They actually get a lot of Mali. You know, Heroic could give them a hell of a lot of space because they're playing the back of the flank. However, there's also a movement towards B. It's all a ruse. Nikodos is here though. Bomb. Oh, Nikodos is here, but he's not ready for them at all. They've just crept up on him, caught him completely off guard. Shoes with two. Has kept it even. And there's a flank. Kixon's like, what the heck is going on here? ZTR, meanwhile, going to go down for Tessess. The bomb has hit the deck. And ah, Metasport, it was a funky idea. But getting a little bit in their heads, Neo. Do you have oh. to go for something crazy, you know, just because you feel like you're down and out? I think that Heroic are really going to be thankful for that, obviously, but also just messing with this Metasport play right now. Yeah, I mean, it, it goes without saying that I feel like they're overcomplicating kind of every yeah. situation. And, oh, man. It's, it's tough to see. He's getting so close as well. We've seen it in that first half. So many rounds were so, so close. But, Roic, not falling for any of these tricks. That's a sport. It's the, the Glocks for them. This is the kind of attack pause by calling attack pause type vibe. Holding a weight behind the smoke. And for Heroic. Double digits is on the line here in a round where all the expectations is that they take it. So, realistically speaking, they should be absolutely flying. Nerds on his trusty MP7. Certainly uh, going to need it this game. He's only got four kills, mate. What's going on here? What is going on? A little uncharacteristic from Nerds. I suppose it's not much lurking about you can do on the T side of Vertigo is the problem. So he has to play with the rest of the team. You know, it's a bit weird, isn't it, for him? But, redemption, possible. Oh, looking good. Triple kill on the USP. Ah, denied any more. The ace was certainly on the cards, but unfortunately, not going to happen for him. Still, he makes some money. He moves up to seven. He'll be happy with that. He does end the round. He's not going to be able to do it all alone, but they only lose the one. Not bad. Not bad. Only the one. And he got more than enough money to kind of make up for it. I think you take it. I think you take it all day. So. Here's that 10th round locked in. There is double digits where we now have to want to get looked towards Metasport to answer a lot of our question marks about this map. What have you got in the locker of this D side? Because it has to be something that is going to spiral into consistent consecutive round. Something they couldn't do in that first half. Oh, I am not feeling too good about them. Flash in the corner. Tess is giving a lot of control here, too. And play around top. Sort of for free. The second smoke coming down into his ramp as well. Metasport, it feels like they're already starting to be pincered quite early here. Spam through from Tessus, not spotting anything. Ooh, and Metasport thinking about some mid-aggression, but pulling it off again. Maybe looking to keep things simple here. Just waiting for the utility to run out. Decent bit of chip damage coming round from Heroic. Nothing too substantial just yet. Metasport going for a bit of a classic. You know, wind the clock down, starve the info, wait for utility, and then potentially execute in later on. And now, though, 40 seconds. Time is at least starting to tick. Bit by bit, this starts to get a little eerie. The 
group in here, Metasport. We're gonna hit this A site. Don't have a hell of a lot of Utah to work with, though. He smokes a few mollies. Opening couple, though, gonna go the way of the test test. That's huge from the boost. Already in a strong position. They could be in a lot of trouble, they Oh, gonna get that bomb down, but only just. A real battle. A real battle here. Dead TR against four. Finds the first pretty cleanly. We've got Nurse that's low. So give me just a second. I'm not calling this one off just yet. Oh, he runs out of ammo though, Neo. He was in such a good spot there after that frag. Just no bullets. One more player could have made all the difference for that round for Metasport, but that's not the way that it goes. They will ultimately get rolled. Tiny bit of damage done in the context of the round, but context of the game, it puts Heroic up to 11, and they now sit with a seven-round lead. Feels like this one is pretty much done and dusted. Yeah, dude. I, I think you're probably right. I mean, yes, a bomb plant is going to give them some finances to work with here, but it's not pretty, is it? Triple AK, Galil, and uh, I'm assuming Jackie has got something dropped for him, maybe? Or Yeah, there you go. Oh, get, get to Galil. All right, there's something. Oh, someone's dropped out. You hate to see it. I was going to say, it felt a little weird. Just a Glock coming in. We have lost Nilo, though. And thankfully, it's before damage, so... Not a, not an issue. We will just get Nilo back in the server, and then we're fine. We'll come back to us briefly, though, while we uh, get match medic and all the rest kind of sorted. But yeah, Nilo dropped out. I was I was pretty questionable by, by that buy. I was like, I saw he only had a Glock, and I was like, what's going on here? But yeah, the bomb plant is going to give them a buy here, so it's something to work with, right? This is all that we kind of care about. There's not a lot of chances. It does start to feel like now or never. For Metasport, you've got Heroic on 11. They win this round. Especially if Metaport don't get a bomb plan as well. Heroic not only lock themselves into map point, but they also do it with probably breaking the econ over towards your opponents, leaving them on the likes of Tech Nines, Mac 10s, maybe A Galil if they're lucky. Um, it goes without saying, it's been a rough showing, and it really does feel like it comes down to this. Yeah, it does indeed. And again, as, as mentioned, as you can see off in the top right, maybe you're. Uh... New to the broadcast, don't quite clock it. That shows you the pick, shows you what maps we've got coming up. So we're going to start the round. This one is the pick of Metasport. And yeah, well, Heroic are supposed to be shaky on it. Maybe if they were to take it, it would be a close affair. But the fact that Metasport have checked out here, you know, such a one-sided game thus far. It's a decent map for them as well. Maybe not their favorite, favorite, but it's certainly up there. Solid holding towards mid from Heroic. Suspen Nilo, it feels like to save the game, have got to win this 2v3. Waiting. Fine, double stack. Oh my god, shush. He's in a bit of trouble here. Gonna still stick around, double stack. Oh my god, hi, oh shush. Closes them down. What a lineup. Metasport get battered. And that is going to be a 12 for Heroic. And Metasport, they have really not shown up to play in this sort of Scandinavian derby, so to say. It's not been a pretty one at all. And my, oh my, what a way to close it in that one. Like we said, the buy is going to be haphazardly for Metasport. They don't get a bomb plant, and that is the case. Adam, he's only got a tech nine. Not looking good. Eight in a row going to be required from the T side of Metasport here, and they are yet to pick up a round, in fact. Big nade to open it up as well is not the way that you want it to go. She's having a great game. They're going to try and walk into the Lion's Den here. Mac 10 is ahead of that Molotov, but Shush finds the kill, of course. Utility to keep them at bay here. He's calling on some support, and he will indeed get it from Nerds. Damage has been done, but no kills converted as yet from Metasport. Three of them remain. Now, just two. Looking very good here for Heroic. Nerds eventually will fall. She tracks through the smoke, however, and that is all she wrote. No sweat off the brow. A breeze for Heroic as they take their opponent's map pick. Usually we say steal. There was no robbery going on there. It felt like Metasport just kind of left it on the sidewalk, and indeed Heroic came by to pick it up. An easy, easy find for them. You know, super deserved, right? I think heroic.